you begin with a styrofoam bowl. Then roll the coil in your hand for a bit until it's formed enough and then roll it out on the table. Make sure to roll towards your body. Then you will get a nice even coil. The coil should be about the size of your pinky finger. Now I always take my coil first and I measure my area before I make any cuts. Once I've measured, I can cut any excess coil off and then I will actually make my coil. As you can see, I'm adding a little bit of water because water is like the glue that helps it stick together. Now I'm not going to worry about roughing up my surfaces for this project because I am going to use my wood clay tool to smooth out the clay so that it will attach in that way. Once I've made my coil, I'm going to smooth out the edge just by rubbing it in. And then I'm going to continue to make other coils to go around the pot. Now, however, this spiral I am going to cut in half so that I have a different design. At this point, I'm going to attach these half spirals to the base of my coil pot. At this point, I'm going to use my wood tool to really smooth out the clay. This is how I am attaching the clay pieces. I am not going to be use my slip and score method. As always, I will smooth it out with a little bit of water and my finger. This is what it'll look like. There are many different kinds of coils. Spirals, arches, short coils, donuts, long coils, folds, twists, or even little balls or braids. Have fun with your coils. See how many different kinds of coils you can include in your little pot. Here, I am going to add a coil in the shape of a fold. At this point, my clay was cracking a little bit as I was creating my fold. If that happens, just use a little bit of water to smooth it out. Now that I have my fold, I've got to fit it onto my pot in between my arches. So I'm going to kind of press it there. If you have some little gaps, that is okay. Just add a little bit of clay to fill in those gaps. You can roll that clay into a little bit of a ball and squish it in there. Now take your wood clay tool and press that fold into the rest of your bowl. You can be a little bit rough with it. You really want to smooth it out. And remember, you can always use your finger and a little bit of water to make it really nice and smooth in the end.
At this point, I have created more folds and arches and even a few little balls and I have completed my bowl design. Here's a little sneak peek of what it can look like. Now here is the last stage. I make one final coil. This coil is for the base of my bowl. I measure the coil on the base of the bowl and then I attach it so I get a nice smooth ring. Then I have to score the bottom of the ring with my fork or my tool and then I score the bottom of the bowl as well. I have to rough up both surfaces. Then I add a little bit of water to both surfaces as well. And as you can see here, you kind of squish it down, slide it around a bit, make sure it's nice and sticky. Then I can take my wood tool and I go around the entire inside of the coil and really smooth it down and get that um, base really solid on there. I'm going to smooth it out again and then repeat the same steps for the outside of that coil. I want my base to be nice and sturdy. Once it is smooth and beautiful, I press it down on the table nice and firm so that it is flat and it will sit evenly. Then I smooth it out once more and I've got my bowl.